What's up guys? Welcome back to Cherokee Hacks Life. Officially, this is going to be the a complete one week post-surgery. So, in case you guys are following along, I had surgery last Thursday, today is Sunday. Um, and I wanted to put out a video out there to kind of give you guys some updates. First and foremost, if for some reason my videos are making you more worried about the surgery, don't be. Um, it really isn't that bad. Um, other surgeries that I've had are actually more painful. Um, I probably said it should have documented my foot surgery when I had uh, broken my fifth metatorsal playing softball. That sucked by far 10 times worse than this uh, because every single time I went from the bed to put my foot down to try to go to the bathroom or go get something to eat, the blood rushed to my foot and it was just instantaneous, just you want to cry pain. Um, this isn't so bad. Um, mostly you, you're going to feel, and let me, me kind of give you the breakdown. Uh, day three, you're still going to feel some tingling. So the last video I put up, I'll put up a video link here, is a day two. And day two, honestly, it was, um, you know, it wasn't, the pain was there. The pain is still going to be there. I'm still in pain a little bit, but it's only with movement. So like right now, standing or sitting here, I don't feel too much pain. But in terms of day three, what you're going to feel is a, lot, a little bit more tingling because more of the feeling is going to be coming back into your arm. You can be able to do a little bit more movement with your arms. You'll feel a little bit more tingling. The pain will be there every single time you make some movement. So I'm also going to put up another video that's going to show you guys, and I'll probably put up a link down below or off on the side here, of workouts that you should be doing. Literally, as soon as the doctor takes you to take off the sling, my doctor told me to take off the sling the very next day. Um, and I did and there was a couple workouts that I'm gonna put up that way you guys can start doing them Actually, just one that you should start doing and then another one you should start doing a week later um, So real straightforward guys basically uh, When you sleep what I would suggest is sleep with your arm propped up. So picture being a pillow being here on the side and With the pillow here on the side you're laying back and it's propped up and it's kind of propped up in between where your underarm is and your elbow. So you kind of prop it up in that angle. Just at a nice 90 degree angle so that we don't feel too much pain. That was probably the most comfortable way for me to sleep. Um, in terms of using the bathroom, I would suggest learning to wipe with the other hand. <laughs> Just being honest with you guys here. And then in terms of showering up and cleaning up and stuff, you want to make sure you're going to have somebody to at least help you for like the first four days maybe. Uh, because you don't want to baby it too much but for the first four days you're gonna need somebody to kind of clean your opposite bot part of your body or your opposite arm because you really can't fully come all the way over and make this movement without really it hurting too much but at the same time you don't want to baby it so at first you won't really be able to do shit um, but then you want somebody to be able to watch the other side of your body you should be able to with this part of your body kind of watch yourself your underarms you're probably gonna to want to lean over and kind of just clean your underarms like that but in terms of uh, actual, you know, just using the actual bathroom and taking a shower and taking care of what you've got to take care of when you go to the bathroom, I'll suggest learning how to use your other hand. That's my suggestion. <laughs> Start now if you haven't already gotten your surgery. Um, but then again, the pain will suck. It'll go away. My pain is significantly less than what it was literally eight, nine days ago at this point. And uh, what I do mostly when I'm laying down is if I'm laying down on the couch or if I'm laying down on the bed, mostly on the couch, I have kind of like an ottoman as well that's at the same level as the couch. So I'll lean my arm out over it and slowly kind of, let me kind of give you guys an idea. I'll lean my arm out here and then slowly trickle my way over just using my fingers to try to get full extension sideways. That's what you slowly want to start doing as soon as you get the sling off. So You don't want to baby it because literally your arm will start seizing up from being in one position too long. It'll start freezing and it sucks. Then you have to go through physical therapy. And honestly, I'm just trying to save you guys some money uh, because physical therapy is fucking expensive, man. And you don't want to go through that. Probably one of the biggest problems that I noticed, um, at least for me, I mean, it's not too bad. If, if you mostly drive with one hand or shit if you drive with two hands please stay the hell away from me I, I people that drive with two hands scare the hell out of me man you shouldn't have to be driving with two hands unless you're Mario Andretti you're driving a stock car which I have done and 
your I, I don't know your freaking rally racing you should not be driving with two hands it's just it's just awkward but again if you're driving with your with one hand you're used to driving with one hand and that's the hand that you're getting surgery on get used to driving with the other hand for me it was my left hand even though I'm a righty I like driving with my left and propping my right arm on the uh, shoulder on the armrest but I'm actually learning to drive a lot a lot with my right hand because I don't have a fucking choice I have to drive with my right hand and uh, but again guys don't baby it please do not baby your arm that's the one thing that I can tell you so that way your arm doesn't seize up or anything and again I'll put up a video so that way you guys can see kind of some of the workouts that you should be doing to start making you heal faster start getting you to that point where you can start being just functional is ultimately what it boils down to. So guys, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Send me emails if you want at uh, CherokeeHacksLife at gmail.com. Um, I got a couple people talking about uh, stuff on, um, on my Facebook too. And like I said, don't be scared by these videos. Honestly, the pain that you're, you're going to feel from this is really not that bad. Uh, the blocker itself, really not that bad. And the tingling afterwards, it's not that bad. Really, it isn't. Um, all right, guys. Talk to you later. Catch you in the next video.